So in this video, I want to talk a little bit more about letting all women go. Really just learning to let them go, learning to drop women. Not literally, I'm talking about the attachment. I'm talking about that part of you that craves them so much, you can't enjoy your own life anymore because I need a woman to be happy. I need a woman to validate me to be happy. Learning to let that go. I just did a video on that not too long ago. Definitely check that video out. It'll be linked up in here somewhere. Um, it's all about letting women go. Think of this as part two. This is the part that's all about the practice of letting women go. And that's what we're getting into. Now, to remind you, for somebody who wrote in that video, how do I let all women go when I have a biological urge to be with women? Well, of course you have a biological urge. You're male. That's, that's normal. I'm not saying you're not going to be attracted to women. I'm not saying you won't be sexually turned on by women, but you don't need the women to make you happy. That's the funny part. A lot of guys get this confused. You think because you have a biological urge to be with women, you need to have them physically in your life to make you happy. And you don't. Now, a good example of this is a lot of guys are into cars. They may see the car of their dreams rolling down the, the road. And just being able to see the car, maybe they can go up and say hi to the guy. Maybe they let him sit in the car, and, but maybe he even gets to drive it here and there. But ultimately, he doesn't necessarily own that car. And he can really appreciate that car, that guy that let him sit in it. He can appreciate the time he spent uh, being around it, but he doesn't have to own it to be happy. He doesn't even have to take it home, right? So if you can reach that point with women, you're walking down the street, you see a beautiful girl, you enjoy her, you look at her, you really take her in, you let her come through your body, you open your heart, and then you turn away and you, you walk off. You look at something else, you talk to another girl. Maybe you talk to your bro. Maybe you're in a deep conversation with your bro and it's, it's a really important conversation. Maybe he's really sharing something important. Then a beautiful woman walks by. Can you drop that beautiful woman and really be present with the person that matters to you, your, your buddy, the guy you, you know, it's what, what's the old term, bros before hoes, right? So can you really be present for that guy? And that really counts for a lot. So I wanna invite you into this idea that you can do that. You don't need women to make you happy. Now, how are we gonna do this? How are we gonna facilitate this idea? Oh, and let's go back and remind you, as Buddha said, the source of all suffering is attachment. And if you're attached to these women, yeah, you're gonna suffer. Attachment means I need them to make me happy. You don't. So let's dive in a little deeper. How do you practice this? But before we do, I want to remind you to like, subscribe, share, and to comment. Put a comment in this video. The comments are uh, really important. They help us to know what to bring you more of. And we're also growing the channel. We're trying to hit that 100,000 mark. And uh, so help us get it there by sharing and subscribing and all that stuff. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's dive in a little deeper. How do you put this into practice? Well, it's very easy. You learn to let everything go you learn to connect and let go connect and let go connect and let go okay so if i look around and i'm looking at a tree and i'm letting it in this is called the heart walk and we have videos on this and i'm looking at this tree and the, the plants and i'm like wow that's beautiful and i'm just taking it in for a minute i can learn to feel that tree and enjoy that tree and relax and think how beautiful it is and then i can just turn and let it go and look down the street and enjoy what i see this way i don't have to sit there and say, God, I need to take that tree home. I need to own that tree, okay? And then I'll go connect to this tree. Stay out of your head, connect to things. What does that mean again? Literally, literally connecting to things means appreciating them, feeling them come towards you, like looking at it over there, feeling it come towards me, letting it in, letting it affect my heart, letting it affect my stomach, enjoying it, and then I look away. Okay. And then I'll look down at the, the beauty of nature down the street here and the, the walk. The, how, there's a lot of beautiful flowers down here. I don't think you can see it on the camera, but I can take those in too. And I can just relax and enjoy those for a moment. Then I can let that go and look at something else. That's called the heart walk. And I, I believe we have a video on that. If we do, I will post a link to it in here. The next is the vulnerability walks. And the vulnerability walks with your ability to walk down the street and feel another person and let them in. Somebody who can judge you back. And that's the difference between a person and, a, and something inanimate or a plant or a flower or a dog. They, they're not going to judge you back. But another person, they'll have an opinion about you. So can you walk down the street and look at people, smile at them, nod, let them in, and then let them go. Smile and nod, take them in, and then let them go. Say hi, let them go. Can do that particularly with beautiful women as they walk by whether they look at you or look away doesn't matter let them in look away and immediately let them go 
do the lock in with something else like another tree or another plant or something else like right over here uh, or so, or the building if you like buildings if you're an architect something that pulls your attention a car if you if you see a type of car you like something that pulls your attention and completely let that person go and you do this over and over and over again breaking that part of you that gets sucked in because ultimately when you get sucked into a beautiful woman there's a part of you that goes into wanting and you start to lean forward in your body and there's this little bit of emotion that comes up typically pain and sadness over not having her and when you go free you won't go into pain and sadness anymore you can enjoy her and you'll just and if you don't have her in your life you can pop right up to feeling great anyways you that won't pull you down that's the attachment part so when i look at somebody or something and i let go again i just move this way because it's easy for me to do and that's what we're doing we're breaking that connection that bond that rapport that that part of our brain that says i need this and showing your brain you don't and every time you do that i connect to one thing and then i move and connect to another thing every time i break that part of me it starts to get pulled in a little bit i'm weakening that neural pathway i'm weakening that part of my brain that says i need this and i'm and that signal is going to get weaker and weaker and weaker ultimately you're going to do this talking to women you're going to walk up you're going to socialize you're going to connect and you're going to start to talk to women and as soon as you start to talk to them you're going to look away again and then you're going to come back as soon as you start to feel that pull that connection so i'll be talking to her and i'm looking at her and i start to feel that pull and that want i'll immediately look away look at something else maybe that tree over there relax take it in and then i'll come back to her why do i do that so that I don't lean in too much, so that I train myself that I don't need her. I'm literally letting her go. I'm showing myself I can let her go, and she feels it too. Uh, in the old pickup days, they called it a rock step. They'd see naturals do this. they go like this, rock away, come back. And unfortunately, a lot of the pickup artists didn't get it. They just did the step, but they never let go, and the girls can feel the difference. You have to actually let go and put your energy somewhere else. That's why you gotta master connecting to other things. Okay, there's another guy I knew that used to sing to himself. He would suddenly look away and just start singing a song and come back and the girl would go, what are you doing? He goes, ah, just entertaining myself. And it's kind of cocky, but it shows I don't need you. I don't care. You can fully connect to a woman beautifully and let her go at the same time. And I can deeply connect, actually I can deeply connect more and really enjoy a woman even more the more I can let her go. That's the caveat. If I can look at her and say, wow, you're fucking beautiful, look at you. Oh, but I don't need you. I'm gonna go over here and walk away and then come back and go, oh, you're still here, good. That's so powerful, okay? Uh, this is why teasing and cocky funny is so powerful because it shows you don't need her, but you can still enjoy her. See, a woman wants to be enjoyed by a man that doesn't need her or isn't attached, that doesn't have a strong attachment to her. That is the real key. So again, this is the practice of letting women go while being right in front of them. This is the practice of getting in front of them, saying, hi, boom, I don't need you, coming right back. Hey, what's up? And if you can do this over and over and over again, it becomes really powerful. Uh, it becomes a really powerful message to your subconscious mind. So let's take this a, little, a layer deeper. I'm going to tell you a story. There was a guy named Brad, Brad P., who was a pickup dating coach. I don't think he's around anymore. I think he, he quit. But he said... He loved to hang out with naturals. The guy I hung out with a few times. And he said, I love to hang out with naturals. And I was hanging out with this natural. We were riding on the bus and I was teaching him my horse girl opener. And he was famous for this opener. It all start, It starts, do you like horses? And it goes on from there. And he goes, oh, well, I went to school with this girl that liked horses. And she used to whinny. And she had one of those sticks with the horse heads on it. And she'd whinny around on the horse head. And she'd play. And we all used to make fun of her. We used to make so much fun of her, and I felt so bad, and you look just like her. That's the opener. And then you got to pace it a little bit better. I went a little fast. And then she'll scream, and you yell, and, and then you tease her. And so he told her to this guy, and the guy was like, wow, that's really cool. I like it. The natural. The natural who doesn't give a fuck what anybody thinks of him is not attached to any one woman. And the natural goes, I'm going to use that tonight. So they get out of the, uh, I think they were on a bus or on a, a subway, and they go right to the bar. The natural walks up right to the first girl and boom, do you like horses? Does it and the girl's giggling and laughing and then he immediately turns to the girl, I believe to her right and says the same exact thing, do you like horses? He didn't give a fuck that this one hurt him. He didn't give a fuck that she heard 
she heard him uh, do it to the other girl. And then he turns to the next girl and he did it to like five or six girls in a row. And they said by the end of the night, he had all these girls following him around because he was demonstrating his lack of attachment. He didn't need any one of these girls. He was having fun for him, playing around, doing what he wanted to do and inviting them into it. That's true letting go. Letting go by, by staying away from all women and being a renunciate of women is not the same as actually letting go, standing right in front of them and saying, I don't need you. That's what makes you attractive. Being open and expressive and saying, damn, you're sexy. Oh, oh and you're sexy too, and you're sexy too, and you're sexy too. And then when you're done, you, you figure out inside which one you really like. Like, yeah, they're all sexy. They all draw me in. But you, there's something special about you. And even you, I don't need in the end because I don't really know you. I'm just getting to know you. Maybe when I get to know you and we figure out if we really like each other, we'll go from there. That's what makes it so powerful. So think about that for a minute. That's the practice. I used to have guys go to bars and walk through the bar and talk to every person. Let's say, start at this end of the bar and every person to your right, I want you to say hi to you, walking through the bar. And I don't want you to skip anybody, especially the women. You've got to say hi to them all, have a short conversation with them all, and then move on. And immediately move on. Like, don't sit there and linger. Don't just break. And matter of fact, sometimes I would even ask them to ask for rejections. Walk down the bar and go, hey, you know, joke with people from in and out. Now, I'm working on my, my ability to handle rejection. Can you do me a favor and reject me? Tell me to fuck off. Tell me to get lost. Like, oh, I can't do that. They'd scream and yell, that type of stuff. So. I want to invite you into this idea that you can learn to let it all go while being in the middle of it, while being immersed in it. You can practice. This is true freedom from outcome is learning to be right immersed in the middle of being around beautiful women and constantly letting them go at the same time. And this is what's going to make you attractive. As long as you keep your expressiveness, your big energy, you don't hide, you don't shut down, you don't become a wallflower. You don't have to be huge either. There's just something natural, something where you're moving your hands, you're talking, you're expressive. And I think this can be very powerful for training you to understand what it is to truly let women go. Truly letting women go is not the act of rejecting them. Because you can, the more you let them go, the attachment to them, hear this, the more you let go of the attachment, the more you can just truly enjoy them. You can invest more energy in them and say, wow, there's something about this woman. I want to get to know her. I don't know what it is, but I want to get to know you. The more you can invest more because if she does treat you like shit, you can easily go, okay, I'm going to go on over here now. I'm done. And that's so powerful. I'm going to give you a couple more stories. I had a good friend, Jason. I think I talked about him recently on another video. I'm going to talk about him again. He used to go into bars and he would light up in bars, you know? He was one of the best with women I'd ever seen. And he would just start hitting on girl after girl after girl. And I talked about him in my working the room video. And uh, he would just say, hey, I, what, look at you. Look at the way you're looking at me. I can do, let's see how you're looking at me. And he'd just start flirting with him right away. And he'd say to me, Brian, go grab that girl. Pull her over here for me. So I'd pull this girl over and he'd have this girl. And he'd be talking to this one. And she'd say, hold on, hold on. And he'd start talking to this girl. Then he'd come back to this girl. And the next thing you know, he'd go, hey, hey, come here, come here. And he'd ask her a question. He did not give a fuck what any one of them thought of him. And I would frequently see him with four or five girls all around him pretty soon because he was so bold, so forward, constantly breaking rapport and reconnecting, breaking rapport and reconnecting. So he wasn't attached to what any one of them thought of him. He just flowed. He just played. He was having fun for himself. And he was completely rejection proof, especially from women he just met. You know, a woman would have to get to know him before he could even feel remotely rejected. And that's the key. And I'm going to say that you can develop that too. That's true freedom from outcome. That's true letting women go. It's not about them letting them out of your life completely. It's just about letting go of that attachment. And that's it. The reason I illustrate this in so many different ways is because some of you guys just don't get it. You think I'm saying you're not gonna have any women in your life. Well, temporarily, while you figure this out, while you work on it, it might go downhill a little bit, but then pretty soon it comes back in spades. Everything starts to grow, you get happier, you get more free, and your life begins to change. That's really it. <laughs> Hopefully I made my point in this video. Hopefully you've got a good practice to play with this in the video. I definitely want to 
remind you to check out my previous video on this, Letting Women Go. It's a great video. Really, really triggered a lot of people into uh, a really, uh, it really got a lot of views. People really loved it. So that's what caused me to want to uh, do this video. And then also check out uh, my video on working the room that I just shot. Uh, it's all about, you know, how you go through a bar and you talk to everybody. And this will help you with the letting the go too. And we'll, we'll link that in here too. But how you talk to everybody and build attraction by not talking to any one person, but by being, in a sense, this powerful force in the room that all the women see. And that takes a lot of letting go and going free from outcome to do. So uh, with that said, uh, hopefully you like this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, share. Make sure to comment. Definitely want to hear your comments. And remember, as always, only the confident really live. See you in the next video.